Here at the Biennale, I'm showing a video installation called Machine Boys. And alongside it, I'm also showing um, a sculpture called Wreath, which I see as an extension of the video work. Yeah, Machine Boys really kind of speaks about the informal economy of of motorcycle taxis in Lagos and Nigeria and it's a, it's a it's an area that I've been interested in for quite a long time so I was very excited to make a work around it the rhythm of the work is really important to me you have moments of intense action um, interjected with moments of pause as well um, and it's kind of segmented in I would say chapters where you have the writers talking about their approach to life and to work um, and their philosophy for living as well um, but you know throughout the work is a real patriarchal energy which is something that I found very very interesting as a kind of as a moment of exploration um, but it's really about an inaction of what it means to be masculine. Um, and I really wanted to home in on that. And I don't really let medium dictate how I work in the sense that I'm quite fluid between mediums. I started as a painter. Um, I'm really into sculpture, into, you know, films, um, installation and also performative as well. And there's also a spatial element to my work, a spatial consideration to my work as well. So they all kind of feed in to each other. Here at the Biennale, like I say, I have this film, this video work that takes form of an installation, but it's also kind of, it invites you into the work with a sculpture. Um, and on, on first glance, the sculpture is, it's quite layered, it's quite, I suppose, dense, and you're not really sure what it is. And once you watch the film and you see it again, it's kind of quite clear. I'm a very curious person and I'm really interested in people. I love people. I love people watching, observing people, and I love hearing about their lives, their stories. Um, and that's very natural to me. And I really take a very deep and honest interest in that. Um, and for me, it's a privilege to be allowed into someone's life and the way that they live and, um, and everything in that, to be a kind of, not only a bystander, but really in that moment when I'm making the work to be part of it. I see that as an absolute privilege. Uh, so, yes, yeah. So I, I start from this point of view and from, and uh, it kind of builds on that where you, you have to establish a relationship, you know, with, with a person or with a community in order to, to make a work like this. I think there's a very deep beauty in almost everything. And I start from this place and then I'm able to kind of weave, uh, you know, what I also want to imbue into the work into that. But I'm not intentionally going out with a political agenda and, you know, <laughs> I'm more about um, being a little bit more subtle and inviting people in with perhaps beauty, moments of discomfort that will enable you to sit through that, to see the work in its entirety and to be able to start thinking and, you know, coming from, from that point of view, really. You know, art is life. Art is, it, it invites you into a dance. It invites you into a dialogue. It feeds your senses. You know, you lose yourself and you find yourself in, in art. So absolutely, you know, it's like literature, it's like, you know, film, it's like um, whatever. You know, it's the essence of being a human being, I believe. Um, it's, it's this moment of creativity, this moment of creation. Um, it's something that I have held on to for a very long time, something that I feel I was born with, and it dictates the way 
that I live and breathe.